Today we're learning about food chains and all food chains in an area make up a food web. It's kind of like a big puzzle showing how everything is connected. A food chain is a series of organisms that each eat another organism. It's like a line of friends holding hands where each friend represents a different animal or plant. The food chain always starts with plants. Plants make their own food from sunlight using a special process called photosynthesis. And plants are the foundation of the food chain and provide food for all the other organisms. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. They get their energy from the plants they eat. Cows, deer, and elephants are some examples of herbivores. Animals that eat other animals are called carnivores. They get their energy from the animals they eat. Lions, tigers, and eagles are just some examples of carnivores. And some animals are both plant and meat eaters, and they're called omnivores, and they enjoy a mix of plants and animals. Bears and humans? Well, they're omnivores. So who eats who? In a food chain, one animal is eaten by another animal. For example, a grasshopper might be eaten by a bird. Then another animal will eat that bird, and so on, and so on, and so on. This is how energy and nutrients are transferred from one organism to another. A food chain has different levels called trophic levels. Plants are the first level, then plant-eating animals, then followed by meat-eating animals. The first level is plants because they are the producers, meaning they make their own food. And the second level is animals that eat those plants. They are consumers, meaning they get their food from other organisms. And the top level is for animals that eat other animals, and they are the apex predators, meaning they have no natural predators. An example is a lion or a shark. Food chains help keep nature balanced, and if one animal group gets too big or too small, it can affect other animals and plants. And this is why scientists watch over food chains to make sure everything stays in balance. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know just a little bit more about what a food chain is. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.